Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a video on how Unica Campaign and Webster Commerce can be integrated. And before I begin, don't forget to follow me. I'm on uh, Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, you can look at my YouTube channel, which obviously you're watching this, so you must know where that is. And I also blog over at uh, blog.belfs.net. So, what are you going to see in this demonstration? Well, you're going to see one approach for how you can integrate Unica Campaign with Webster Commerce. We're going to use precision marketing based on gender and SPSS ratings. And we're also going to show how Unica can connect directly to the Webster Commerce database uh, to actually post offerings and actually query things like the customer demographics and, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show how the end customer sees the offers in the site. And you can see here I am on the Madison store and we're going to focus on this area right here. And you'll notice that an unauthenticated user gets the gift, the give the perfect gift card and a new lamp collection offer. When we go ahead and log in, we will log in as Linda Madison first. So Linda is a woman. And when we go back to the home page, you will notice that we now see uh, different offers focused toward Linda. So an update your living room in a tees and tops for girls. If we sign out and we log in as Guy Madison, and we go back to the home page. So we're as Guy Madison now. Okay, now we can see uh, we still have the same update your living room ad and we also have now a 20% off men's tees uh, specifically targeted to men. So now let's go ahead and see how we did this behind the scenes in the tooling. So we're in management center and we're under the eSpots, but we don't know what eSpot that particular advertisement is being placed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the preview store uh, dialog function to go ahead and launch the store and get an idea for what uh, what the ID is for that particular eSpot. Okay, what we can do is we can click on the Show Marketing Spots button and we can now see that it's Homepage Row 3 ads. So that's the eSpot that we need to, to look at. So let's look up for Homepage Row 3 ads. We're going to right click on it and we're going to show its web activity list. And we can see there's several of them. So the first one with a low priority is most likely the default content for an anonymous user and we can see that there it is the Madison gift card and the new lamp collection and the Unica one looks like it's enabled and we also have one that's disabled but we're not going to worry about that and we can see here it has a priority of 99 so that simply means if Unica does pass back an offer for this particular person this one will be ignored so let's go ahead and look at this. And we can see here the Unica offers shows any offer and a maximum of up to two. So let's go and dive into Unica and see how uh, that's all set up. Okay, we are here in Unica campaign. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of dissect this flow. So we have two inputs. 
we have select users and then the opt-outs. And what we did was we connect Unica uh, directly to the commerce database, which is the users table. And we're basically saying, hey, if the profile type is C for customer, go ahead and pull that in. So there's a few different pro profile types in Web Search Commerce. You could be an administrator, et cetera, um, but we only want the customers. And we only also want to um, select the customers that have chosen to receive email. So our opt out is um, when the receive email is false or zero. So these are going to be the opt outs. And then to define which ones are eligible, we can identify which input is uh, to be included and which input is to be excluded. So we include the selected users and then we exclude the opt-out users. And then we have a series of SPSS um, boxes over here that is essentially going to go in and pull a bunch of data in here and compare it to a table that we populated in Webster Commerce from SPSS scoring. And then those scores get returned, and then we can actually go and uh, create uh, different offers based on that SPSS scoring and the Webster Commerce database. So for instance, we have here um, the, the different uh, offers for like women's clothes, men, I'm sorry, the different segments, um, women's clothes, et cetera. Um, you can see women's clothes is basically where the gender is female. Uh, men at weekend play is essentially uh, the gender is male. And then we have a series of other uh, segments where we just simply uh, bring in the SPSS scoring and do a range for the SPSS scoring to assign it uh, to different segments. Then in the last box, we attach the different segments uh, to the offers. So for instance, the women's clothes segment, we're going to present the women's 20% off, home furnishings, home furnishings, uh, men at weekend play, men's tees, 20% off. So if we go ahead and run this, okay, and we can actually watch Unica campaign actually go in and figure out, we can see that has 13, that has 6, results in 8, and then we come down here, we do the resegment, and then it pushes out to an email list and uh, the offers table. So the process flow kind of went like this. We designed the flow in Unica campaign, and we queried the data, the DB2 database on Webster Commerce, and we also pushed records over to a table in Webster Commerce, and then the Webster Commerce web activity referenced that table, and then essentially pushed the offers out to the website based on the user's uh, credentials. And that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward.